Hello guys. Good evening. Hi teacher, good evening. Hey, how are you doing? Hold Hi, on a minute. How are you? I'm good, man. I don't know why my camera didn't turn on. Hold on. <laughs> Should be working. Just fine. All right, man. So how are you feeling for today? Uh, did you finish the final? Did you finish the final exam? Yes, I already finished. You're finished? That's good, man. Yes. Did you Did you find it difficult or easy? Uh, there was a uh, an, uh, part that was the request. The, 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 the sentences was a request that I had to to go back to the class to remember and practice and then return to the to the ex exercise to finish but just that the others it was i can finish with no problem everything else was good okay yes which uh so what do you consider was the most difficult part i i, I think in that one the the was the request because we you have to to write all the all the sentences and and there was a, a, a I, I have some doubts, dudas, about about what I have to. You ran to into write some it. doubts about it. Yes. Okay. All right. No, I got you. Got you. Got you. Now. All right. Very good. Very good. What about you, Brenda? How was? Uh, did you finish the final exam? Yes, it's right. Okay. Finish. Okay, and uh, which one did you find more difficult? And uh, let me see. No, there's no more. Letter D, I think. No. What is, what is letter B about? No, no. No. Yeah, sorry about the noise, guys. That's uh, the trash truck. <laughs> I don't remember what, what section is. I, I don't remember what section is. But right, you have to write. Write the answer. Okay, you have to write down the answer. Okay. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, hold on. Oops. Uh, that was wrong, the wrong uppercase. All right, very good, guys. So we're gonna go over those topics, guys, uh, so we can have a grammar review. Okay. All right. So thank you for being so early, Victor, Elena, Gloria, Ronnie, Arturo, and Francisco. Right. Nice seeing you guys here. All right. So how was uh, how was work today, uh, Ronnie? Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Uh, I was. Uh... Very nice day. <laughs> it was a nice day? Okay. All right. Very good. Nice day. All right. So it wasn't stressful? So it wasn't no. stressful? No. No. It's really quiet this day. I don't know why, but it's quiet. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So, uh, so let's go over some of the grammar topics here, guys. Okay. So I, uh, I haven't asked everyone here, but... Most of you told me that you guys have finished the platform, right? Um, Arturo, Elena, Francisco, Gloria, um, did you finish the platform too? Oh yeah, Elena, I think you sent it. Good evening, yes, I did. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher, I did. Can, can, I I'm did sorry, too. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, what was your question? I finished too. <clears throat> okay, you finished too, okay. 
All right. So now, guys, we're going to go through each of the topics, okay? So let's go and answer the questions one by one. All right. Uh, but I'm going to go through the explanation, guys. Okay, I'm not really going to go through what those answers are. All right, you are going to tell me what answers you think those are, but why, okay? You have to explain me why. All right, so let's start with, uh, let's see, Brenda, favorite color? Brenda, what's your favorite color? Purple. Purple, okay. My Arturo Grimaldi, you have uh, a purple heart. Uh, <laughs> All right, so Arturo, all right, so explain to me, okay, so tell me, first of all, tell me what is the answer for number one, explain to me why is that the right answer? Mm, number one, Manuel called Karen and wants to borrow her CD player. <clears throat> okay, borrow her CD player. Okay, and... um, so why is, is that correct? With in the conversation, first of all, um, he asked her to go to a party, to party. And then uh, she <clears throat> told him that uh, she can't go to the, to the party. So then he asked her, uh, well, then, he borrowed her the CD player, her CD player. He borrowed her. Okay, so he you said he borrowed her her CD player. No, he borrowed her. <laughs> he borrowed her her CD player. CD player. Now let me ask you something. All right, all right. Thank you, Arthur. Plus for Arthur, guys. Good job, Arthur. All right, now. Arturo, pick someone. Uh, Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Good evening. So, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Right. So Brenda. Uh, so when he says that he borrowed her CD player, I'm sorry, I, read, I, I typed in the CD player. All right. So when he says that he borrowed her CD player. Does that mean that he gave her the CD player? Is that what, what it means? Who gives the CD player to who, Brenda? Karen, give the CD player to Manuel. Okay, very good job, okay? Very good, very good, okay? So he borrowed her, her, he borrowed her CD player. If I ask you, Brenda, uh, how, how can you, okay, so if, if you want to ask me for uh, for one daughter, okay, so how would you ask me for that? Uh, David, could you lend me one dollar? Could you lend me one daughter, okay? That sounds very Salvadorian, guys, okay? But that's correct, okay? You could say, could you lend me one daughter, but people don't talk like that, okay? What is okay. the other way? That, what is the right way to say it uh, in that case, Elena? Um, I'm sorry, can't hear it well, but uh, I, I think she said, can you lend me a dollar, right? Okay, all right. can you lend me a dollar is correct, but people don't say it that way. There is another way to say it, all right? We can I, say it that, that way, uh huh? Teacher, can I borrow, can I borrow one dollar for me for you for you can i oh no i don't know i don't know you tell me you guys tell me you guys are the, the teachers now okay all right can i borrow one dollar for you is this okay what do you think guys what does that mean so you want to borrow one dollar to give it my to myself who are you going to borrow the, the daughter from I borrow the all right, dollar. All right. You guys are getting confused here, huh? It could no, it's, be, it's, can it's I borrow okay, with Brenda. you? Can I, I, can I borrow one dollar? But why are you saying from you? From you. From, can I okay. Kendall, from you. Okay, can I borrow one dollar from you? Or you can say, can I borrow one dollar? Right, just like that. All right, but from, okay, not for, from you. From, from. Beautiful, plus for Brenda, guys. Good job, Brenda. Good, 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 good job, okay. And the answer is yes, I can lend you. 
Yes, I can dollar. lend you one dollar. Exactly, right? I can lend you one dollar, okay? All right, so if I lend, guys, that, that means that I will give you money, okay? If I lend you money. If I borrow, I am, I am asking for money, okay? So, guys, do you prefer lending uh, or borrowing money? What do you prefer, Ronnie? Lending um, or borrowing borrow. money? <laughs> you borrow money? Borrow. Yes. When, when was the last? Money. Okay, so tell me about a time. So how, how would you how would you how would you request that to a friend? Um, I'm a friend to my friend. Yeah. You want I'm to ask so. your friend for money? How how would you do that? Uh, can you borrow money? Some money? Okay, so you're borrow saying me, borrow me some money. Guys, don't okay, don't say anything yet, okay? So you say, can you borrow me money? Ah, borrow me. Money. So okay, all right. Okay, what do you think, guys? That's incorrect to say the me. Why? What is the meaning? Okay, so okay, so we got we got Ronnie, okay, so we got Ronnie down here. Okay, I want you to notice, guys, who has the money, okay? Okay, so this is Ronnie, and this is, okay, this is actually, we're going to do like this. This is Mr. Money, okay? So, Mr. Money. So, Ronnie doesn't have money, guys. Who is going to, who is going to give money to whom? Mr. Mr. Money, money will or give money Ronnie? To, to Ronnie. Very good Mr. job. So, okay, so Mr. Money will give, you know, money to Mr. Ronnie. Money Ronnie. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. So, Mr. Money will give it okay, to Cheyenne, okay? Very good. Now, this is Cheyenne, okay? Very good. Now, <laughs> now, guys, so Ronnie wants to ask Mr. Money for money. <laughs> all right? Ronnie wants to ask Mr. Money for money, all right? Sounds like a good time tongue twister. All right, so how, how do you do that? So he's saying, can you borrow me money? Can you borrow me money? Okay. Can I borrow some money from you, Ronnie? So you're telling, you're telling Mr. Money to tell you to ask you for money. Okay, so that's not, okay. So if you, if you say, if you tell Mr. Money, can you borrow me money? He's not going to give you any money. All right, so how would you say that? So, so. So this is what I want you to understand, okay? Borrow, guys, borrow, okay, is not, can I borrow, can you borrow me? Okay, when, when you, you are the one asking for money, can I, okay, so you are the I, can I, can I, can this person borrow. borrow money from you? All right, so how would you ask me again, Ronnie? Can I borrow can I borrow money? Okay, can I okay, can I borrow money? Okay, very good. Okay. What what if uh what if it is a pen? You want my pen? How would you say that? Hmm? Can I borrow you your pen? Okay, can I can borrow I your pen? pen? Very good. Can I borrow a pen? Can I okay so that's uh, I'm sorry, borrow versus uh, borrow is spam. Borrow versus land, guys. Okay. Land, huh? All right. So now, in this case, can you lend me your pen? But this is very Spanish, okay? Can you lend me your pen? This will be more like in Spanish, guys. But people say borrow, okay? So every time that you are going to borrow something, you have to use the subject I, okay? Not you. All right. Very good, guys. So that's what we got uh, in borrow. Let's see. Give me another. Give me another. Go, go ahead. But, 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 but when, when the borrow is a thing, I guess that I use, can I use your CD player in this case? Yeah, you can say that. But but that's not yeah. borrowing a CD player. That's just, can I use no. it? Okay? Can I use? Okay. Yeah. Borrow is, is just in the morning. For what? In the morning? Money. <laughs> Money. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's not for money. No, it's not only for money, for, it's for anything. Guys, it's it's for anything, okay? All right, so can I borrow a pen? Can I borrow my, uh, your eraser? Can I borrow your wife, right? 
Nah, just kidding, guys. Right? So it's for anything, guys. Okay, that's fine. Can I borrow your PlayStation? So, can in, in can I borrow your PlayStation? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can say that. Tell him. In uh, sorry, in in the example, the CD player. He no. She, she borrowed her. No, she borrowed him the CD player. No, it's the other <laughs> way around. Okay, okay, borrow, guys. Okay, when I say I, okay, it's just it's just guys. Okay, how can I explain it to you? All right, so you got you got this is you got you okay and you. This is the this is the receiver, okay? Okay, this is the receiver. All right. The and then you who get ask. exactly, okay? The people who ask are the receivers, okay? And then you got Cheyenne, right? You got Cheyenne over here. Let's call him Che just because. All right. So Cheyenne, guys, okay? So Cheyenne is the one with the money, okay? And you want his money, okay? So the money is going to go to you. All right. So borrow, guys, it means the verb means to be asking for, for something. OK, so who is the one asking you or Cheyenne? Me. Who? who? Me. You are asking, right? Mm -hmm. So you say Me. I. OK, mm -hmm. so that's what you say. I. All right. I. I in this case, can I? But let's say I, I borrow money okay so this guys okay take a look write it down okay you should write it down guys because because you're gonna forget otherwise right so this guys okay so take a look at this you are getting the money it's not cheyenne right so if i say i borrow money who's gonna who's getting the money guys you or cheyenne yeah. <clears throat> i am getting the money cheyenne. right no 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 i am getting the money I borrow money, okay? Guys, don't think in Spanish. Because in Spanish, this doesn't this word doesn't exist. All right? It means pedir prestado. Mm -hmm. All right? So it doesn't exist in Spanish. So stop thinking in Spanish. All right? If you think in Spanish, guys, then you're going to... That's why you've found it's fine. Spanish so cool. It's like, pedir, pedir. It doesn't exist in Spanish, guys, okay? It does not exist in Spanish. All right? So you say, I borrow the money because you're going to receive it from the third person, all right? So now, who's going to, when I say lend, guys, okay, lend the money. If I say, I lend money, okay, so let's take a look at another example here, okay? So when I say, all right, let's say over here, okay, I lend money, okay? If I say this, guys, okay, then... The money is not going to me. The money is going to who? The money is going to who, guys? To another person. To All right, to Cheyenne. Beautiful. You're never going to forget Cheyenne after, after being with me. All right, guys. So, yes. The money, all right, the money goes back, I mean, goes to Cheyenne. You got it? All right. Now, you can add the preposition here, from, okay? So, you can say, I borrow money from. Okay, because who are you going to borrow money from? From Cheyenne. Okay, very good job. Okay, now guys, remember when you are sending a letter, what is a letter? Do you remember the love letters that you used to send to your boyfriend or girlfriend? All right, so when you send a letter, guys, to some, you, when you send a letter, you're sending it from or you're sending it to someone? From, to someone. Two guys, okay? From, from. All right. Guys, no se acuerdan las cartitas que decía from y vos ni sabía en inglés y le ponía ah, from, from. Ahí, Pancho para uh, Kimberly, me, right? For you. All right. <laughs> to you. From me to you, right? <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> La Pancha. All right, good job. So <laughs> from me to you, okay? Oh, I lend you money, okay? Or I lend money to you. All right, so you can say. To you or to Chen, right? I lend money. I lend. Uh, I lend money to Cheyenne. Okay, got it, guys. Do you understand what the difference is? So the difference, guys, is borrow is receiving, lending is giving. What is it, guys? 
Lending is giving. Borrow from is receiving. Borrow is receiving. And lending, lending is giving. Okay. All right. Lending is giving. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's test you. Gloria, give me an example. So I want you to borrow money from. I want you to. Let's see who has. Who looks like. Who looks like. Um, who looks like if that person has a lot of, a lot of money. Let's see. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Victor. <laughs> let's go, Victor. Because you're going to borrow money from Victor, Gloria. Okay. All right. You okay. want to buy. You want to buy Doritos. Okay. So you want to. You don't have money for Doritos right now. So you want to you wanna ask for money, okay? So you're going to ask for money to Victor Avalos, okay? Okay. Uh, Victor, uh, can you borrow me one dollar? Okay, guys. Hold on. Okay, good job. Plus for glory, guys. Good job, good job. Guys, borrow. What is borrow in one word? Receive. Receiving, okay. And what is lending again? What is lending? Giving. 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 Okay. So she said, she said, can uh, you say? What do you say? Can Can you or she can said, I? What What did she say, guys? Can you say? Can you? Can you? Can you she borrow, said, can you? Can you borrow me? Okay, a dollar. Okay, I think you said one dollar, but it's okay. Can you borrow me a dollar now, guys? Can you borrow me? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the example again, okay? So here is Gloria, all right? All right, so here's Gloria. All right, those are <laughs> those are supposed to be your dry lashes, okay? All right, so this is Gloria, okay? And we got Cheyenne over here, all right? He lost a lot of weight, all right? So can you, right? Can you, okay, first of all, we're talking about Cheyenne. Can you... Borrow me, okay? So the money, remember, is going to go to whom? To Cheyenne or to her? To Cheyenne or to her, guys? Brenda, who's the money going to gonna go to? To Cheyenne. All right, the money is going to go to Cheyenne, guys, because if Cheyenne is saying, if Cheyenne is saying borrow, remember, borrow is? Borrow is? Receiving. Receiving, Receiving okay? And you're saying, can you borrow me a dollar, all right? So that means that you are asking Cheyenne to ask you to ask for a dollar, all right? Vos le estás pidiendo a Cheyenne que te pregunte, que te pida un dólar, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to try again, Gloria? Okay, teacher. Uh-huh. Go for it. Uh in this case, it is uh, Victor. Can you let me a uh -uh. dollar? I don't want you to. I don't want you to use lend me. It's okay, but I don't want you to use lend me. Use borrow. Guys, just think about it, okay? Borrow, use I, okay? You're gonna use. I. We're gonna okay. use I. You're gonna use I, okay? Gloria, one more time. Okay, uh, Victor. Can I borrow? Can I borrow a one dollar? Can I borrow one dollar? Good job, plus for Gloria, guys. Good job, Gloria. All right, did you get it, Gloria? Is it okay? Yes, it's, it's yes, I, I understand. All right, beautiful, beautiful. You, if if it is easy for you guys, use it with I, okay? Beautiful, guys. Okay, so that, that concludes that. Okay, do you have a question regarding um, borrow versus versus yeah. lending, guys? Is it clear? It's clear. Arturo? It's clear. Is it clear? All right, very good. Okay. Elena, is it clear? All right, good job. Good job. All right, guys. So, all right, so we're going to say here, borrow her city plate, right? Beautiful. Now, number two, guys. Jeff asks the man uh, to leave the message, this message for me, Mikio. All right. So what is the answer for this? Me teacher. Tell me. Uh, could you ask me, Mikio, what time I should pick him up tomorrow afternoon? Very good job. Repeat, guys. Could 
Could, could you ask? Could, okay? could you ask? Could. Could. The could. L is mute. All right, the, the L is is, uh, is muted, guys. Okay, so you you don't pronounce that. Okay. All right. Could. So could you ask Mikio what time I should pick him up tomorrow? Okay. Now this, guys, remember, is this a direct or indirect question? It is an uh, indirect question. Okay, this is a an indirect question, right? So, pretty much now, how will you make this a direct question, Jessica? Hello, Jessica. A direct question. Uh huh. Mm. Uh, is Jeff talk with Mikio? Huh? Um, mm, Mikio, what time I should pick pick up you? No, pick you night. Mikio, what time I should pick pick you up tomorrow afternoon? Okay, all right, hold. Okay, all right, you're almost there, Jessica. Almost there. What time? You said I should pick Mikio you? up tomorrow afternoon. So this mm -hmm. is this. All right. So is this correct? Jessica, 100%? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Very confident. I like that. What do you think, guys? What do you think? All right. Good job. Plus for Jessica, guys. Good, good, good job. All right. All right. There's something that we need to correct. Okay. But overall, very good job. So what do you think, guys? I think that okay. the direct question is when when I in this case I ask directly Mikiro what time I pick you pick you tomorrow. Mm, okay. Now guys, there is I, okay, Jessica. What time was... I pick you tomorrow? No, 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 guys. Okay, first off, guys, no, no. the scent, okay, Jessica has a direct question, okay? She made a very good job. There is one simple mistake here. She only made one mistake. I think uh, the subject uh, will uh -huh. be the first. Mikio, what time I should pick up tomorrow afternoon? I mean, you can you could say kind of like uh, that, but that's not the mistake, guys. That's not the mistake. Okay. At what time? No, I mean you could say at what time should I pick up? Okay, hold on. I just, I just, uh, uh, I just, I said it. <laughs> I just. Miss uh -huh. should, should I? Should I? Should I? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> should I? Uh, Maybe it's it. Okay, so should I? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, be very careful. Careful with this. Okay, if you're speaking in English, guys, remember every every time that you make a question. The, the auxiliary comes before, right? So what time should I pick uh, pick Mickey up tomorrow? Or what time should I pick up Mickey up tomorrow? Or um, or Mickey, what time should I pick you up tomorrow? Okay? All right, so there are multiple ways in which you can say this directly, okay? Beautiful, guys. Okay, so far so good. Did you get it? Did you get yeah. it? All right, so, uh, so this is indirect versus direct questions, right? Beautiful. All right, so while the couple was walking to the mailbox, okay, do you remember this one? All right. It's a number one, teacher. A thief right. stop past. Thing. Stop them. Okay, so past continuous versus, versus what? Simple? Simple past. Simple past, Simple past. right? Past. Okay, so you said a thief stopped them, okay? Okay. Uh, all of these guys, they call the police, okay? So all of these are in the past, but remember guys. So what action was happening? So you have a timeline here, okay? This is a timeline. And this is, um, this is, this is, there's an action here, okay? All right, uh, so this is, let's pretend that, hold on, ah, let me redo that, okay? So this is, okay, this is the present, this is the future and this is the past, okay? So now, what was the ongoing action in the past? Uh-huh. What was the ongoing action in the past? They was walking. 
They was walking. They okay. They was guys. They was. Are you sure? They, they were walking. They were. They walking. were okay. Be careful with they, the verb in the class. Uh, okay. So they were walking. Okay. They were walking to the mailbox. Okay. So this was the ongoing action, guys. Here. Okay. So this was ongoing. Okay. Okay. Now, the uh, did the action stop somewhere? What was the action that made them stop? The thief. A thief. A thief. The, okay, stop. okay, a, a thief stopped them, right? So the action, the action, fin did the action finish here, or did he did he continue in the present over here? Did it finish, finish in the past, or in the present? What do you think? In the past. In the okay, past. Okay. Okay. Yes, guys. Okay, there was an ongoing action. Okay, and here we got the thief. And the action ended here in the past. Okay. Good job, guys. Very, very good job. Good job. Good job to you. Good job. Good, good job. All right. Uh, number four. All right. Help me read number four. Let's see. Foster. Hey, I like your name, man. It's like, isn't it like a cartoon named after like that? Like named Foster or something? Called Foster. Sorry. All right, Foster. Never mind that. All right, so Foster, number four. <laughs> Thank you. No, don't worry. Uh, at the beach, uh, Yvonne learned to be more careful about looking her car doors. Okay, at the beach, Yvonne learned to be more careful about locking her car doors, right? All right, beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, now. Uh, there are other, okay, so this is a, this might be a multi, oh, we're, we're, we're missing the first one, that's, that's why, for our city player, okay. All right, guys, before I hit submit, guys, I'm actually not going to hit submit, though. Uh, did you all, now that you're you're all here, guys, did you all finish the platform? Did you finish yes, the final you. exam? Okay, all right. Beautiful. If you have, if you haven't finished it, uh, if you haven't finished it, let me know, please, okay, so I can help you. All right. Now making requests. Uh, let's see. Let's get the answer for the first one. Um, uh, who wants to help me read, guys? Me, me, teacher. Me, teacher. Victor. Go, go for it, Victor. Do you want your friends to lend you her laptop for the weekend? Could I borrow your laptop for the weekend? Very good. Could I borrow? Right? Could I borrow? Your laptop, your laptop, is that, is that it? For the weekend? Yes. Okay, so very good. Could I borrow your laptop for the weekend? Why, guys? Because who's asking who, guys? Who needs a laptop? I. Okay, you, okay, you need the laptop, right? Not, not your friend, very good job. All right, number two, all right. Um, let's see, Jose Armando, number two. Jose might be working, but number two, Jose. Jose, Jose, Jose. All right, I think he's working. Uh, Elena. Are you there, Elena? Yeah. All right, number two, Elena. Um, would it be okay if I used your cell phone? If I use or used? Use. Use, okay. In present. Okay, phone. good job. Okay, very good. Would it be okay if I use your cell phone? Question mark. Oh, did it did it take did it take the question mark? Uh, I'm not sure because yeah. there is like oh I just no, heard I just heard the mark. same the same thunder, but I just heard I heard it in, in, in your background. <laughs> That's funny. Uh yes, okay, so sometimes guys you keep the question might be taken without the question mark, okay? All right, but that's 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 okay. Would it be okay if I use your cell phone? All right. So number three, guys. What do you think number three is? Me, teacher. Go for it, Ronnie. Okay. You want to borrow a stranger's paper when he's finished reading it? I was wondering if you mind lend me your newspaper. If you mind what? Did you mind lending lending me your newspaper? Lending me your newspaper, okay. 
Very good job. Okay, so indirect or direct question, guys? I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your newspaper. Direct or indirect? Di direct. Okay, you say that it's direct, okay? Who else? Who, does anybody else... Um, does anybody else disagree, guys? I disagree with uh, number two. You disagree with number two? Okay, don't say I'm, guys. I disagree, okay? All right, so what's wrong with number two? Uh, I guess uh, it's the, uh, I used your cell phone. Would it be okay if I, okay, would it be okay if I? It's missing used. The, used. Missing okay. the, the letter B, used. Used. Okay, all right. I don't know. You, you, you guys know, right? But guys, actually, would it be okay if I? use your cell phone or would it be okay if i use your cell phone both would be correct guys okay whatever use whatever answer uh you mind in here but in, in, in real life guys in a real life uh, conversation both of them are okay here okay now what, what about number three guys i want you to tell me if it is direct or indirect is it a direct or indirect question they said that it's a direct question what do you think i i it, i was wondering if you'd mind lending me your newspaper What do you think, Ricardo? Think that, uh, <laughs> I right. don't think so. I am sure, but uh, your newspaper is uh, I, your yours is uh, wrong for for me. Your newspaper is wrong for you. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Somebody else. Uh, I think Francisco, you you mentioned something, or I I don't know, guys. Somebody talked. Just just. Uh, just now. I right, go for it. I, I, I think that it's a direct question because it's between two people, two persons. Okay, it's an indirect question, guys. So I right? remember an indirect question, guys, starts with a phrase, right? Hey, I was wondering if, right? Okay, very good. Okay, remember I told you, como right? All right, remember? So that's an indirect question, all right? Beautiful, guys, beautiful. All right, so check the correct phrase. Okay, could you tell Matt? All right, so we're talking about indirect, direct questions, okay? So what do you think about the first example, the first question, guys? Could you tell Matt? It is indirect. All right, very good. It is an indirect question, very good. And uh, what do you think the answer will be? Could you tell Matt that I that a Kiko can come to class tomorrow? Or can you tell Matt does a Kiko come to class tomorrow? The first one. Why is it the first one and not the second one? Can I not because use a Kiko? We use that with it with the indirect person. With it with a direct person. Con una persona directa. No. No, we use that. When we use, uh, when we are asking with an indirect question. Very good job. Okay. So, okay. Good job. Good job. Yes. <coughs> All right. Can you ask, can you ask David? Jessica, what do you think about this one? Is the, num the second, whether or not he wants to study together tonight. Okay. Why? Why is that correct? Well, what is that? Because it's an indirect question too. Okay, it's an indirect question. Okay. Actually, guys, okay, whether or not, okay, very good. So now, why could you not use the first one? Why can't can you not say, uh, can, you, can you ask David if he wants studying together tonight? the Jaren. Exactly. Very good, Arturo. Very good. You can't say if he wants study. If he wants to study together tonight, okay? All right. If he, if, if the sentence was, uh, can you ask David if he wants to study together tonight? That would have been great, okay? Good, good, good job, Arturo. All right. Number three, guys, okay? All right. All right so uh, let's see number three. What do you think number three is and why?
Number three, can you tell Harriet? What do you think about that, guys? Not to be late for class on Monday. All right, not to be late for class on Monday. Why, why, can I, can, why can't I say, can you tell Harry don't be late for class on Monday? What would be wrong with that? Don't be late for class. It's, <laughs> it's missing the, the verb. Okay. Okay, can you tell Harry don't late? Okay, don't. It's actually missing the, yeah, the verb. Good job. All right, so not to be late for class tomorrow. Good job, guys, right? So we're not, we're not, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna mark them here, guys, but uh, it's just so you can get, you know, the idea of what, what the answer behind it is. All right, so simple past versus past continuous versus past perfect, okay? This one is very interesting, okay? All right, Foster. Now, you know what? Someone who has not participated. Uh, okay. Let's yeah, Foster, let's go, Foster. What, what do you think? Explain to me what, what's going on here. Okay, at uh, their weddings, their wedding, their bride and groom got into a terrible argument. I guess they, they were fighting. Very good job. So at the wedding, the bride and groom got into a terrible argument. Good job, man. Now, why? Thanks. So now, guys, can I say at the wedding, the bride and the groom we're getting into a terrible argument? Or can I say at the wedding, the bride and groom, the groom had gotten into a terrible argument? Why can I not use past continuous or, 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 or past perfect here, guys? There is a situation in the past. Only. Oh. Okay, guys, guys. Cuando hagan la prueba, guys, un día van a hacer la prueba, no sé si van a hacer TOEFL, no sé cuál es su meta realmente, but si hacen alguna prueba, guys, um, eso está, guys, eso está en esas pruebas, el TOEFL, ok? Acuérdate del usage of things, ok? So, simple, simple past, we used it for what? What do, you, what do we use it for? Simple past for what? I think that action happens in the action. Okay. Happened. Okay. Action finished, right? Ya no está pasando. Ya terminó. Se murió ahí, right? Igual que tu ex, ya murió, right? Beautiful job. So mm -hmm. simple pass, guys. Okay. It's like the ex. Eh? Como, como el ex, right? Or ex. Good job. All right. What about uh, past continues? For ongoing action. Ongoing action. Okay. An ongoing action when? In the past. In the past, okay. So so does it continue in the present? Or did no. it finish in the past? It finished in the past. It okay, finished. it finished in the past, right? Okay. Now, uh, in past perfect, what about past perfect? I think this one is the one you have more issues with, okay? Now, un truco, guys, para que se acuerden de perfect. Todos los perfect, guys, tienen algo en común. ¿Qué tienen en común? Se los dijo, ¿no? Have. Participle verb. Very good. Have. Okay. Have. Or has. Or had, right? Very good. That auxiliary, guys, always exists in the present, uh, in the perfect tenses. Okay? So, in the past perfect, guys, the only auxiliary that we had is, that we have is had. Okay? So past perfect basically is had. Now, well, so what do we use past perfect past perfect for? The subject plus uh, ha, ba, no. auxiliary. Ha. No, that, 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 that is, that's the structure, okay? But what do we use it for? What is the, the usage? Me, teacher. Go for it, Alison. Uh, for experience. For something that happened before another action in the past. Okay, actions before other actions in the past, okay? That's it, guys, right? Hey, um, I had, I had, a, I had arrived home before my, my girlfriend came over. Yo había llegado a mi casa antes de que mi novia llegara, right? 
So that avia, guys, that avia is basically that past perfect, okay? All right, so in that case, guys, this is this is what I want you to see, okay? If the action finished, then the, the, the answer would be, the action, the, the, the answer would be, in simple? Look, simple past. In simple past, okay? Simple so past. at the wedding, the bride and groom. All right, got. All right, number two. All right, uh, Jessica, help me read number two, Jessica. Number two, the bride's father had just moved Aside uh, when the groom, 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 mm -hmm. stepped, stepped. Very good, stepped. On, on the bride's beautiful dress. On the bride's beautiful dress, right? Very good, guys. Very good job. Okay, stepped. Okay, so stepped. On the bride's beautiful dress. Okay, so simple past again. All right. Now, I'm sorry, uh, when the groom stepped or had stepped, I'm sorry. The bride's father has just moved aside when the groom stepped on the bride's beautiful dress. Okay, no, that's good. All right, what I what, what I what, what I what, guys? Now, was playing. Also, remember, this is a big tip, guys, okay? When you have when you have the, the word while, okay, this, this signifies that it's something going to be progressive, okay? All right. So this is a big, when you see wild guys, okay, so not for, for you not to have any any errors or any, any mistakes here, right? I remember that when you see the, the word while, that means, you know, it's a continuous situation, right? So while I was playing, right? All right, beautiful. And while last, and when, right? While I, when, okay, well, but when we use when, that's that means you're going to use simple past, right? Oh, uh, while I was playing basketball, I went to the supermarket. I went to the supermarket. I mean, I, I was playing basketball when I went to the supermarket, right? So when will be used for simple past. All right, so um, what about the last one, guys? What do you think about the last one? Uh-huh. have not put. Is it past perfect? It past perfect? perfect. All right. Help me read it all and tell me why it's past perfect. The action uh, happened before another action. Okay, very good. Okay, what was the first action that you have in here? Very good job, Jessica. You got it. All right, the usage is that. So, what is the first action that, that happened here? Uh-huh. Put the cell phone in his tennis bag. Okay, so I couldn't call my wife to say I would be late for dinner because I had not put my cell phone in my tennis bag, okay? So, not putting the cell phone in the tennis bag, was it the first or the second action? Couldn't call. First action. Right, the first very good action. Job. Very good job, right? Cool. So, because I hadn't, okay, all right. Remember, guys, there might be punctuation mistakes. Oh, sorry. There might be punctuation mistakes, guys, that you have to correct, okay? But please let me know if you have any issues. So, had because I had not put, right? All right, very good, guys. So far, so good. Do you have any questions regarding these topics? Yes? No? All right, very good. Now, this one, guys, this one, um, I'm not going to go through it. It's just reading. All right, did we all get a 10 here? Do they will yes, get out? Okay, very good, very good. Okay, all right, and that that will be it. Okay, so we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play something right now, guys. But if you want me to go, I would prefer if you tell me. Uh, I would prefer you telling me um, about any any uh, any topics that you think that you are not so sure about. So do you have a do you have questions regarding the topics that? we've come across during this module? I have a question. Tell me. With rela re relative clauses. With relative clauses, tell me. As a subject and as an object. Uh -huh. What is the difference? For example, when the emphasis is in when you use it 
as a subject, the emphasis is in, in where. All right, so to answer that question, first off, the, would, would anybody like to answer that question? <laughs> All right, so there's no difference, man. Uh, and, and I was asking if anybody would like to answer this question because that's what I already, that's what I explained before. I gave an example. All right, the only difference is where you put the object, the whole object of the sentence. If you put it at the end, that's a relative clause as an object. If you put it at the beginning, that's a relative clause as, an, as a subject. Let me go back there so we can. So we can see that. That's a good question, man. But, life with, with but he, he doesn't need, he doesn't the same to the passive and active voice. I'm sorry, what was your question? Because in the active, then the difference between the active and passive voice is the emphasis that you put in the subject or the object. And I think, or well, I thought, that in this case it's the similar, but I don't. I'm not sure. Okay, man. So, all right. So we got one example here. Okay. All right. So these two things. This is what I was trying to say. Okay. Um, both relative clauses, if you use it as a subject, or if you use it as an object, they both have the same meaning. All right. So now, now I do understand that you that you got that right. So we got uh, where do you see the relative clause here on the on the first example? Where do you see it? I didn't hear you. <laughs> where, where did you see what? Where do you see where do you see the relative clause here? All right, um, so in the first part, in this part right here, okay, so let's talk about this. Where do you see it? In the, in the, in the beginning. The beginning. Okay, at the beginning, right? So that's why, that's why it, it is a subject, all right? So now, in this case, okay, the relative clause is, uh, is the object just because you see it at the end, all right? Because the structure changes. Now, um, I don't know if that answers your question. All right, what is the difference? Is that one goes at the beginning, one goes at the end? Or is there another type of question that you have? <laughs> um, it's okay. No, 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 all right. Yeah, you can ask, Just you can ask for it. Because if not, I'm not understanding your question, but, uh, but you can ask for it, man, don't worry. No, because you use, for example, mm -hmm. passive voice in formal writing or in formal speaking. Okay. It's the same, the meaning is the same, but you change the structure, depends on the, the, who you are talking. Okay. And what is your question? I understand, I understand. But if, what is the uh, question? If, if in these clauses is the same. Oh, or... mm -hmm. no, it's not, it's not the same. You can use them in interchangeably. You can use okay. both, you can use both scenarios when you're talking to someone. Okay. All right, so yeah, I, I'm sorry, I didn't, I hadn't understood your question before. Uh, but good job, man, yeah. So yeah, dude, this it's the same as in Spanish. You can say, hey, una cosa que realmente extrañaría es la cocina, la, la comida de mi mamá. Como cocina de mamá. O puede decir, eh, lo que cocina de mamá es algo que de verdad extrañaría. Right? In Spanish, you can use it interchangeably too. All right? But yeah, in passive voice, it's true, right? When you're writing something, it's like, hey, oh, uh, the glass of water was given by Right? We don't talk like that, but we write like that. You write about that, right? Um, so good job, man. Good, good job. Any other question, guys? The, oh, I'm sorry. Did, did, did that answer your question? Yes. Right, good job, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, I'm sorry for not understanding before. Uh, any other question, guys? 
No teacher. No question, no question, no question. All right, guys. So that concludes the last class for this module, guys. All right. Um, I have another class right now. Uh, do my favor, guys. Uh, we have 13 people here. So are you all, have you all, I'm sorry, have you all completed the platform? Yes. Okay, yes. no hay nadie aquí, guys, que no la haya completado al 100%. Eh, teacher. Tell me. Eh, I have a problem because, because I finished the platform, but eh, I don't have the 100%. Ay, vaya, envíame, envíame las que no tenés, o sea, con 80 lo pasas, pero me gusta que den 100% siempre, yo creo que ustedes también, ¿sí o no? Right? Yes, yes right. but yeah. that's not the problem because I, I, and my answers are, are right, but I have 73% the, the, of the final exam. Uy, no puedes quedar así. Vaya, eh, si quieres, ahorita, yeah, you cannot do that. Don't worry. Uh, uh, guys, si tienen alguna pregunta, envíenmelo al WhatsApp group. Recuerden que tenemos hasta mañana, literalmente hasta mañana, que ya después de mañana no podemos hacer nada. Right? Uh, si quieres, Alison, eh, envíame un screenshot de las que te salen malas. Andate, ya sabes dónde irte. Uh, ¿Dónde dice progress? Yes, but my problem is que sí que están buenas. Are... Yo, yo, yo sé que me dijo que, que, que sí que están buenas. Pero, Perdón, we have to. No. We have to. In the platform, my answers are right. Eh, teacher, But... a, mí, a mí me pasaba lo mismo, pero a veces pasa eso porque, bueno, yo contestaba a veces sin verlos, sin escuchar todo el video. O sea, no, no esperaba que terminara un video y, y de repente le daba next y se quedaba el video como pendiente. Entonces, ¿puede pasar eso, Alison? No, los videos, los videos no los califican. No, yo sé que no, pero a veces por dejarlos como a medias, eh, no, no termina de, de chequear todo el, el, el progreso. Alison. No, no, yo sé, pero el progreso no es chequeado en ningún video. Solo, pero... solo, los, solo los ejercicios. Entonces, lo que puede haber pasado es que o sea, o, o no te entiendo, o... o, 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 o espera, espera. No, no, lo que pasa es que tengo que hacer clase también. O sea, me puedes decir, me puedes mandar los screenshots en, en WhatsApp. Lo que, lo que pasa usualmente es que, es que las respuestas salen malas porque le falta un punto. No, pero, o sea, las respuestas me salen buenas. Pero no te sale el... el, el... Pero, eh, y me sale que, o sea, abajo me sale ah. el porcentaje que que tengo un 73.3% bueno, pero me sale, individual me sale que las respuestas buenas las tengo 20 de 20, 20 de 20, 20 de 20, 20 de 20. Vale, está bueno. Solo envíame screenshots y, y si es problema de la plataforma lo voy a reportar a, a Jonathan, ¿qué es? Um, pero envíame, envíame screenshots de, de que sí te salen buenas primero, para que yo le pueda decir a Jonathan. Yes. Ya, ¿Oís? Vale, ya, yeah, yo con gusto te ayudo. Guys, cuando yo con gusto les ayudo con la respuesta, guys, también. Pero por favor no me manden screenshot diciéndome solo, miren, no sé cuál es esa, porque yo tampoco sé en dónde estás. <ríe> okay. Entonces, por, si me, cuando me mandes, hazme un favor, mandame qué sección es, porque yo no, no, o sea, para no estar yendo, voy a ir a la sección 1, a ver si está ahí, ah, no está aquí. Voy a ir a la sección 2, a ver si está aquí, right? Entonces, so, por favor, mandame qué sección es. Poneme ahí a uh, sección 5, pregunta tal, so that I know, and I can, y te puedo dar la respuesta bien rápido. ¿Got it? ¿Got it? All right, guys. Um, so, Alison, quedamos pendientes. Um, en WhatsApp, guys, me quedaría más tiempo con ustedes, pero tengo una clase que empieza exactamente en estos minutos. But, guys, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure, guys. I hope that I can see you next module. Thank you for all of your effort. Arturo, nice meeting you. Victor Avalos, nice meeting you as well. Ricardo, very nice meeting you. Foster, Allison, Elena, nice meeting you. Gloria, Brenda, Jessica, Ronnie, Francisco. All right, Jose, Armando, gracias, guys, por conectarse. Gracias por venir. Gracias por todo, guys. All right.
Eu vou ensinar, guys. Thank you, Thank you, teacher. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye. Alison. Bye, guys. Yes, that's Show my her face. Por fim, revelação. Thank you, Alison. Thank you. Bye, guys.